this is your host, Nael, and today we're going to be watching episode number 5 of this series of videos where you tell me how you're surviving and dealing with the whole pandemic situation around the globe. If you haven't watched any of those yet, you can find all the links below in the description box as well as in a playlist. I encourage you to join the conversation down below in the comments and tell us your own experiences. Don't forget to check out everyone featured in this video. I've left all the links and handles in the description box. Without further ado, relax and enjoy! Hi, my name is Victoria, also known as Blackheart Victoria on Instagram. And like everyone in the world, we're staying at home because of quarantine times here in Russia, St. Petersburg. I do the stations for a living and I keep doing it because they're digital and you don't have to go anywhere to work. It, it was before and it is during so it's fine. As for my husband, yeah, he got lost it because he was a teacher, but he's also an illustrator, so yeah, it's kind of okay, but not so much. Um, as for our friends who are actors, yeah, it's fucking problem <laughs> because they don't have money even to buy some food. It sucks really. As for the government handling things, I think it's like everywhere, but in St. Petersburg they are not so strict. I mean, you can't go for a walk in the park or in the forest. Uh, if you don't have your own car, you can't go to the countryside and of course you can't um, see your parents and yeah, it's okay. As for food, yeah, you can go to the supermarket wherever you want, even at night or to the pharmacy, but uh, you better stay, you better keep distance while staying in a cool for two meters, wear a mask, but I think maybe only 20% of St. Petersburg's people wear masks. I don't know why, but yeah, it's it, I wear. Yes, and in Moscow the rules are more stricter because the case, there are a lot of cases and yeah, the situation is really worse. As I've already said, my life stays the same, but of course there are some difficulties, like everyone has now. I wish you keep strong and love people that surround you. My name is Samari Mercado, I am from Lares, Puerto Rico. Right now, I am living in Florida, in the United States. I am quarantined. Our local government has issued a 30-day stay-at-home order for the state of Florida. Even though I already have been in my home for a month already, we do have 30-day more period of uh, stay-at-home order quarantine. Right now, uh, I don't think the government actually knows what they're dealing with. They seem and they try to look as if they know how their situation uh, is being handled, but I don't think it's effective. I do not think, and this is me personally speaking, I don't think the government actually knows what they're doing. It is overwhelming, and in some way it is stressful, annoying, and it does make me mad to know that there is much more people making much more intelligent decisions than the government is. I think their focus is more in the economic part of this whole coronavirus situation instead of a health matter. I did get laid off of my job this week, even though I haven't been working for 30 days already. So basically, I have been homeschooling my two oldest, and my husband still is working because he is considered an essential worker. So at least there is an income coming into our house right now. And if we are not able to cover all our payments during these next 30 days, we are probably going to have to use our savings that were originally going to be used for the purchase of our own home since we are still renting. But right now, that's our backup plan. Surviving quarantine here has been not so bad. I guess we already were prepared for the situation ahead of time. I've been stocking up on food and water for the past two months. Uh, so basically in that matter, I think we were uh, well prepared. It is 
a little stressful not to be able to go outside and do our normal things like work and be able to go to the store without having to worry but the less we have to go to the store the better if we need to do groceries we would wear uh, i would wear gloves because i am actually the only one that goes to the supermarket and i wear gloves i wear my mask i keep distance even though people don't respect social distancing i try to do my part once i'm home i take off my shoes i disinfect everything i take a quick shower and clean clothes on that's the normal routine right now but since we have most of what we need i don't go out anymore for now it has been a little annoying in some way because I'm due to working, I'm due to being out there and being in the house, I don't get the desire to do anything. I don't, you know, I don't want to bake. I don't want to do crafts or anything. I'm just focusing on the kids right now, making sure that everything is done properly to keep everyone safe and just hoping for the best. My recommendation to everyone would be keep a healthy state of mind in order not to go crazy. The most important thing is to be safe and overcome this whole situation. It is hard, but it is also a time to meditate on, reconsider what life is about, make time for family, just enjoy the little things, you know, because... Today we're here, tomorrow we don't know. So the most important thing right now is to stay safe and uh, follow every measure there is to overcome this whole situation. Hopefully it'll end soon. God bless and stay safe. Hi, my name is Viv. I've been a fashion designer as a professional career in, in this life, mostly. I also edit an independent art magazine. I do different things. And uh, originally, originally, I'm from the northwest of Spain, a region named Galicia. But right now, I am in London. That is the city where I live and the city where I'm immersed in this quarantine uh, situation. At first, here, the response of the government was really crazy. I'm sure you, you saw that. Like, uh, they were just saying, okay, everybody's gonna get infected, let it be, people's gonna die, mm, come on. But everybody was like, what the hell is this person saying, you know? And uh, finally, they, they took some measurements, and right now we are in a, in a lockdown. Not an extreme one, because we can still go for a walk or take some exercise. But for the rest of things, everything is closed. You have to keep the social distance and all that. So hopefully this this works. I think it would be great if uh, more quick and eff effective kind of testing would be available for all of us. Because the main thing is the, the uncertainty like that surrounds all this situation, right? That you don't know if you have it, if you can be a risk for others. And I think that's very important to, to trace. And it seems that some countries that are kind of handling it pretty well, um, uh, they are focusing a lot on that, right? On testing and um, and having this, this information to, to act and to protect others. Yeah, regarding the quarantine itself, I'm quite made to be alone and to work alone and being on my own. Uh, of course, it's hard in the sense that I really miss my friends and my family, a proper human interaction. It's hard, but I, I try, I don't know, try to make the most of it. I, I barely go out, to be honest, because uh, I I order local product. I was uh, buying like that before, and they bring it home, like fruit and vegetables especially. So I barely go out. And I don't know, I get kind of paranoid, you know, it's it's, it's so weird. It's Everything is so so weird right now. And yeah, what I'm doing is, is taking advantage of time as much as possible. I mean, I love just to rest and to chill and listen to music or read something. I'm chatting a lot with friends. Uh, that's very important for me. That keeps my <laughs> mental health in place a lot. And also, as I lost my job, the one that had, I mainly been doing for uh, seven years, so right now I need to think I have to think about the future as well like what I can do now I need to prepare to get something new or develop my own projects as well that I can do both things so I'll I'll see 
I'll see. Of course, I'm worried because you have to pay the bills and the flat and everything, and I'm living in one of the most expensive cities in, in the world, right? But I'm trying not to, to get very anxious. Living day by day always is good to be, try to be present in the present moment, to live just our reality right now, right? But it's, the thing is that with this situation, it's the only option for, for a lot of us. Of course, self-care is very important as well. Take your time, take it easy, because there's nothing we can do, you know? It's this feeling of, what can I do, right? It's just wait, stay in, and trying to make the most of it, trying to optimize this pretty weird and hard situation, but I'm sure we can find ways. How we could help each other sticking on this together, trying to go through this together, even if it's just giving support to someone, a friend, someone that might need it, just uh, having hope in the future and the kindness of people, and hopefully the world will, will learn something about this, and all of us as well. Hola, saludos. My name is Eric. I live in the Caribbean island of Puerto Rico. I live in a very small, rural municipality of the island. I find it very peaceful, even though this is a very interesting times to live. I am aware that I am very lucky not to go through the difficulties of the people that are living in major cities, like making long lines at the supermarkets and uh, going desperate because having no space to extend your extremities and breathe the air and see the sky and listen to the birds. I, I am very lucky in that sense. Also, I am very lucky in the sense that even though I am not working, uh, my wife can work from home. So it doesn't become uh, too hard for us in terms of economy. One of the things that I am doing to cope with the situation is to be very vigilant about the quality of the information that I am getting. There's so much junk information out there theories that don't make any sense or there is not enough evidence to support them. So I stay away from that and I try to listen to the most credible sources. <laughs> you pick them. <laughs> you, you determine what sources should, that should be. I distrust everything but if I rely more on some type of information is something that it can be verified. So I don't, I don't rely much on people who are talking about prophecies, uh, divine punishments, some conspiracy theories. I, I try to stay away from that and, and rely on, on what I can verify. I also try to, to reduce the amount of, of news. I use only the information that can be useful for me for, for decision making. A lot of the stuff that is going out at this moment it doesn't make much of a difference in terms of my, my personal plans, of my family plans that I have in order to carry on with this situation. Also, I am exercising more regularly. I have an excuse right now not to exercise. It helps me keep the immune system healthier. The body is more oxygenated. It also creates a feeling of well-being after exercising. <laughs> I meditate and I also do a little bit of self-hypnosis. There's no mystery to it. Anybody can try it. Anybody can do it. You don't have to, to, to be part of a religion or, or philosophy. It works for me, even though I am not a religious person. And what, what I do is that when I feel comfortable in peace, I can retire to a peaceful place, to a maybe dark place, quiet place. And uh, I will close my eyes and just breathe smoothly and simply enjoy that peace of mind in which I do not care about anything else because nothing else is more important than, than the present moment. I close my eyes and when I am in that state of mind, I will involuntarily go into a conversation with myself. Tienes que ir al supermercado, tienes que ponerte la mascarilla, los goggles, los guantes, desinfectarte, tienes que pasar por casa de fulano, etc. Blah, 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 blah. And then, I, I acknowledge that conversation with myself. I am aware that it will go away. It just starts to vanish, goes away. I go back to my original state of mind, what I intended to, to be at. Eventually, once I get in peace with myself, enjoying the present in quietness, there will be another conversation with myself. 
cabrón, esto se jodió, cabrón. Todo esto se fue a la mierda. I will acknowledge that I am having that conversation with myself. And it will eventually dissolve. Dissolve. Just let it go away. That's basically what I do with meditation. Also, I try to relax at other moments. And I, I like to whisper sweet things myself. Whisper in a very soft and quiet tone of voice my own personal and favorite uh, affirmations. So that works for me. That works for me a lot. Reconstruct. It's been a while that I don't program electronic music. I took a long break from uh, making music. In 2018, I started, I restarted to make some new tracks for a more friendlier project and also new tracks for, for the less friendly music <laughs> that I make from time to time. Now that I am at home, I can dedicate some time to finishing these, these noisy beats. I have some friends that give me good therapy. They give me a lot of love. <laughs> Many thanks to the people who have made the previous videos. I really enjoy seeing people around the world expressing themselves. My gratitude to the people who are risking their lives because they are essential workers that are living dangerously at these moments. My gratitude to you. Be safe, be kind to yourselves. Treat yourself kindly. Once again, thanks to absolutely everyone that made this video possible. So I really hope this video makes us feel a little bit closer as human beings. Human beings and rights? You get the idea. Because after all, we're in this together. If you want to know how I'm dealing with this whole quarantine situation, please do check out the video I made where I show you a few hacks that you may or may not be doing already. Thank you everyone for joining me during this whole week of videos. Don't forget to share, share, share this video with your friends. I will see you next Monday. Until then, keep washing your hands, take care and bye!